What's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG aka The Random Black Gamer bringing you another video on Transformers. We're a little less than six months away from being able to feast our eyes on the upcoming Transformers film Transformers 1 which will curtail the origin stories between Autobots such as Optimus Prime and Megatron. But unfortunately we have yet to see any trailers of that and fans have just kind of forgotten that the movie exists. Thankfully there are other things to keep us occupied and satiate our appetite for more TF content and I'm going to be talking about one particular project today. But before I do that I want to ask you guys to do me the biggest favor and like this video. Yeah I know it's a bit annoying getting this at the very beginning of the video before you've watched it in its entirety but YouTube's algorithm encourages it. So if you rock with your boy and you know I'm going to bring you that awesome content then smash that like button. And if by any chance you feel like you've wasted 10 minutes of your life that you can't get back then by all means retract that like and give it a dislike. Just rate the video. But yeah guys as I've been saying we already know that Transformers 1 is the latest installment in the film verse and we can't wait to see what it has to offer but we haven't gotten anything to go off of other than images which is a shame because we don't really know that much about this film. We know that it's going to be an origin story and it's going to particularly take place on Cybertron which is awesome and great but we would really like to get some more official images and maybe a trailer in the near future before this thing kicks off. It's already been made crystal clear that the Transformers film franchise isn't what it used to be in terms of its box office ticket sales with many fans questioning if they should even go see these movies because of how many times they've been betrayed by the previous installments. While a lot of fans felt like the Bumblebee movie was a breath of fresh air, the Bay fans felt ostracized and I don't think that many people were pleased with the overall turnout of Transformers Rise of the Beast. So you would think that Paramount and Hasbro would make it a point to release something to give us a good idea of what we're getting and reassure the fans that we're going to be getting something that's true to the original source material. But they have yet to pull that marketing campaign trigger. Thankfully there are other ways by which we can scratch our Transformers itch. As I'm pretty sure a lot of you are aware this is a multifaceted franchise. It's not all about the toys, the cartoons and the movies. We know that we can actually go explore some of the mythos through things such as the comics. And if the officials are failing to provide us with entertainment on that end then we know that the fans will take matters into their own hands and do the job even better which we have seen a lot of instances of. You guys have often heard me say that we are living in a Transformers fan renaissance because we see all of these awesome projects brought to life from the crazy yet brilliant minds of the fandom and they've proven time and time again that you don't need a ginormous budget to produce awesome Transformers content. You just need all of the things that make them great which includes great characters, awesome story and world building. And I want to talk about some of them like you guys have seen me talk talk about others such as Transformers Rise of Unicron which is still being worked on but will be out very soon. This is an ambitious project that's undoubtedly going to please a lot of fans of the Bayformers especially since it ended on a cliffhanger. As the namesake suggests we're going to actually see the chaos bringer of destruction himself Unicron come to life with a Bayverse take on the character. Because as you're aware we already have a live action version of the character that exists in the new continuity and since we're on the topic of that I gotta bring up another film that's being done by a fan by the name of Laszlo Van and that is Transformers Arrival. As I mentioned earlier although Bumblebee was highly praised by fans for being something fresh and new and different from the Bay films there were a few interesting heavy caveats that prevented it from being perfect. Since these films cost an insane amount of money there is a good chance that we may or may not see things that we want to see. Although we did get a chance to see the film take place on Cybertron it was only for a short stint which left us the fans asking for more. Can we get more attention put on the classical G1 characters? And what happened to those other characters that were supposedly going to be landing on Earth shortly after Optimus made his arrival? That's something that was partially answered in Rise of the Beast but still there there were a lot of things that were inconsistent because based on the roster we got in Rise of the Beast it wasn't exactly the same group of characters we saw in that epic battle on Cybertron and Bumblebee. But thankfully Transformers Arrival does an exceptional job of filling in those blanks by taking place between Bumblebee and Rise of the Beast. And that brings me to the next project that I'm going to talk about. 
Over the years, you may have noticed a high demand for a project to aimlessly insinuate or at least mirror what we got in video games such as War 4 and Fall of Cybertron. Those, in my honest opinion, are some of the best stories told about the Autobot and Decepticon War, and I really love the fact that he was able to shine a spotlight on characters other than Optimus and Megatron. When I look at the opening sequence for Bumblebee, it reminds me a lot of those awesome CG animated trailers we got for those games. But as I've stated before, it was nothing more than a team and unfortunately we haven't been able to go back to that awesome scenery in the later movies. Thankfully we have been able to experience this in the form of a fan film project. A content creator by the name of the name brand company reached out to me to actually talk about this project and that is Transformers Cybertron Falls. An online series that's been around for the better half of three years now. And what I absolutely love about this series is that it gives us this gritty introspective view from the optics of characters such as Bumblebee be. Like it really makes these characters feel like real people marching into war and you can sense that apprehension and fear that they have, you know, that's the thing that I always wanted to see in a Transformers film, really depicting this big battle that's gonna cause a lot of casualties and hearing those introspective thoughts from characters that feel like they may not make it. This is something that's rarely done, like I think we've only gotten this in the IDW comics, particularly the Spotlight series, which are basically self-explanatory. They put the spotlight on one character as opposed to juggling a lot of characters, and sometimes they actually do a group of characters, which this series also does. And now I know that this isn't one of those big budget things, and you guys can tell based off of the visuals, they aren't the best, but they do what they need to do, which is emphasize how grave and dire situations are, particularly with the Autobots. Every time we get these close-up shots of the characters, I'm reminded that this is still a war. The characters' bodies are badly beaten up, and they have all these scuff marks and burns on them. You get the sense that they're tired, and some of them even move like they've been badly injured. I also like the fact that the director decided to go with a camera that moves kind of shaky to give off that realistic feeling. Like it's not daunting or nauseating, but it just does a good job of making you feel like you're actually there. Like, you could be a spectator watching these characters go at it on the battlefield. It also helps that they don't shy away from brutality. You see characters such as Soundwave execute an Autobot by shooting them in the head. Something that I think you will all appreciate is the fact that it's not all about the action scenes up in this. No, we actually get dialogue with these characters and we see one pivotal moment where Optimus Prime and Megatron are talking about things as they both search for the Matrix of Leadership in the Sacred Chamber of the Primes. It was nice seeing them work alongside each other as they endure this trap ridden location. Like everything was just perfect man, and with each passing year that we get a new installment, we see these visuals improve, and the latest entry in this epic saga is gonna be arguably the best looking one, which is Cybertron Falls Till All Are One. It's gonna be the latest entry in this epic saga, and it's gonna be released this winter, and I hope you guys are ready for this because you have no idea what you're in store for. As you can see, it has some promising visuals, and Optimus Prime in particular looks very detailed, and he's only gonna go up from there because he's gonna see a major upgrade. Anyways, the film will be around an hour and a half long and will serve as the concluding chapter to the Cybertron Falls series. The story will follow Optimus Prime as the central character this time around as he struggles to figure out his place as a Prime in an ever-growing Cybertron and questions if the way of the Primes is truly what Cybertron needs. So yeah guys, we are gonna be deeply exploring the lore, especially pertaining to the Primes, and there's one particular character that you're gonna wanna see up in this. This is a character that we don't see often and I think the last time we saw him, especially in robot form, would have to be the Transformer Cybertron series. And that was roughly 20 years ago since we saw that character in action. But now we're getting him again and we're gonna get a chance to see what he looks like with a realistic touch up. I could go on and on but I don't want to spoil you guys. I just want you guys to see for yourselves. But that's all I got for you guys. What are your thoughts on this? If you want to stay up to date on all the news pertaining to Cybertron Falls till all are one, you can do so by following the name brand company's social media handles which I'll provide in the description and pin in the comment section. But with that said, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. 
Are you excited about this or do fan projects just not do it for you? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I ask that you like or dislike this video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. But if you really enjoyed it, it would help me out tremendously and especially help out this project if you shared the video with all your friends and followers on all the different social media outlets. Sharing really makes a difference. But once again, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Yeah!